Right, so guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today you join me back at Manning's Heath for a rather, a rather overcast day, unfortunately, but I've got a very interesting club in my hands today that I think a lot of you guys will probably want to get your hands on. So a few weeks ago, I did a review for the brand new TaylorMade P790 range. I was a big fan of it. A lot of people are big, big fans of it. I've had a lot of feedback from that video from in person as well, saying that they may be the best iron tip ever hit. I'm not going to disagree with them. And now I've got the UDI. So I've got the TaylorMade P790 2 iron, the UDI version with a graphite shaft. And this is going to be a fun one because I've actually, I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a secret. I've hit this already. I've hit this for about two sessions. So I've got some data already i can give some instant feedback but i'm still going to take it out on the kingfisher course and we're going to try and see how far this thing really goes because as you've seen by the thumbnail it goes a long long way i won't get into the technology too much in this video if you guys want to check out what what's really in the new p790 range go check out the iron review video but i will mention the speed foam that's the biggest change here in comparison to the old p790s it's gone from normal speed foam to speed foam air which is lighter it's a different color as well which means that they can use that weight to optimize the CG and just actually make the sweet spot even larger. So in comparison to last duration, she get more forgiveness with this one, slightly faster ball speed and an optimized tour flight. I got all of that with a P790 irons. The two iron here, maybe, maybe a bit of a different story. Now, as it is a two iron, it is a driving iron. Some may expect this to be maybe quite easy to hit because it is a piece of 90, it's got a lot of forgiveness. And I will be honest with you, it's actually not that easy to hit. That doesn't mean that it's not forgiving, but it will let you know if you hit it out of the toe and out of the heel. Looking down at it for a two iron, it's still very intimidating. It really is. It's a very nice club and it has all the aspects of the P790 iron range, such as, as I said, the speed foam, the speed pocket, and also the tungsten weighting. But looking down at it, yeah, it, it's not the most forgiving club looking down at it. You've still got a lot of offset, but for a two iron, for a club that's 16 degrees, it's quite scary. I used to use the TaylorMade DHY that was released last year. And if I compare the two, there's obviously a big, big difference. The DHY, the driving hybrid, has a lot more offset and doesn't look as scary behind the ball. This one here, I still feel comfortable, but with that broad handicap range that TaylorMade say for their irons, I would perhaps say that the two iron may, be, may not be the case, just because although it is still easy to hit, you get a lot of feedback from it and it is quite an intimidating club. Now let's hit some shots so I can just give you some feedback and talk about this club because it's a fun club to hit, I'll be honest. It's still scary, but it's a very, very fun club to hit. Let's do it. Now what I found with this club in comparison to the other clubs I've hit, like the driving hybrids, is because it is a P790 two iron, the versatility in comparison to something that's more forgiving is less. With something that is a DHY, I'd feel very confident. I think a lot of people would feel quite confident hitting it off the tee and off the fairway. With this, I feel very confident hitting it off the tee, but then when I'm not off the tee, I think you're gonna really have to put a good swing on it to hit the center of the club face, which is why you see a lot of tour players using this club. So that right there, I need to get some ball flight to this. That one there was right out the middle. And the flight that you get is no spin at all. And that is, a, again, a very big difference when you're comparing that to a DHY or a UHY. Because with those, the launch angle is slightly higher. You get a little bit more spin. I'll give you guys some data of this in a second that I got from King's Golf. But it is low spin. It is that three wood spin. But it still goes a long way. Yeah, you can get some speed on this thing. Luckily, I've hit those two very, very good. But when you don't hit it very, very good, as I've said, if you get it out the toe or out the heel, the club does let you know, but that doesn't mean you get diminishing results. I've taken this out on the course at Manning's Heath and also at Stoke Park. And what I found really interesting about it is there was quite a large dispersion in terms of distance, but they were still very good. So let's talk about data first before I get onto that. At King's Golf, I hit this and I hit this very well. I'll put the data up on the screen for you here. And as you can see, I was getting about 275 yards and it was peaking at about 280 yards. That is because I was swinging it quite fast. I'm swinging quite fast right now, but 280 yards for a two iron with those numbers, that's very, very good. But when I was hitting it badly, it wasn't going as far. It was going about 250 yards if I was hitting it off the toe and out of the heel. And I've had that on the course as well. But 250 yards for a two iron, I'm never going to complain about that because this can instantly go in my bag and it kind of replaces that four iron fairway finder that I want to hit off the tee. Because 
although there's some distance dispersion from 250 to 280, there's not really that much dispersion in terms of left or right. And that's because at the end of the day, it is an iron, it's not a wood which means that your dispersion is always going to be a little bit tighter. When I was comparing the dispersion of this to a DHY that I've been using, this one is actually a lot tighter. I'm hitting a lot more fairways with this than in comparison to my previous DHY. I'm gonna take this now on the course, I'm gonna take it to a hole and I'm gonna see how far I can get this club. I'm gonna use the Garmin R10 and I'm also gonna use my shot scope just to see the data I get. I um, think I may be able to get this 280, maybe 290 yards if I absolutely smash one. Let's give it a go. Right, so we are on the fourth hole at Manning's Heath Kingfisher course. The sun is setting. I need to think of some excuses as to why this won't go very far. I, the wind, nah, I mean, I think I could get 270 here. It's the end of the day, so maybe it's not as hot as it should be, but I'm interested in the numbers that the Garmin R10 gets here. I should be able to get it. I've got my shot scope lined up as well. So I'm gonna go and have a look at these balls. I've got five Sounder golf balls. If you don't know Sounder, go to our socials. We've done a very good review on it. I'm gonna see if I can get this to 280 and then see what my shot scope says as well. Cause maybe it'll run out a little bit as well. I am excited. I'm gonna put some big swings on this. Channel my inner Bryson DeChambeau and hit some huge shots. So that's saying it went 260 there. Let me just change to a three iron there. But 260, I think it went a little bit further to be honest, but let's keep going. I know that was a really good strike, that one, but it just had a little bit too much draw. So if I just get a fly a little bit straighter, it should catch the slope, because I reckon that was going to be in the left rough. That has gone absolutely miles. Really interesting to see how far my shot scope says that. I think the R10, unfortunately, isn't giving me the most accurate numbers. That one there, I'll load it up for you, is saying 253, but we'll see where these end up on shot scope. That's gonna go far too. Ah, I leaked it a little right, but I really hit that well. So guys, that brings me to the end of this review of the TaylorMade P790 2-iron, the UDI. Luckily enough, I was, I was a bit scared off that tee when I was looking at the Garmin R10. I had a feeling that it wasn't just getting the numbers quite right because of the altitude, and I was completely correct. Now, I hit four balls, and they went a very, very long way. So I'll show you the results here. The dispersion was pretty good as well for what was quite a difficult hole, but they ranged from about 274 yards to, I think it was 294 yards. Now, this hole is slightly downhill, and if you do take off the corner, you're gonna get some more rollout. So that's that's probably why it's a little bit longer for that 294 than the numbers that I was getting at Kings Golf. But I'm a very happy bloke to see that those numbers are going a long way. And obviously, with those numbers, with those dispersion as well, it actually feels quite easy to hit now for me. So no question, it's going straight in my bag. Now, who would I recommend this club to? Now, that is, that is a great question. That really is, because if someone was off 15 who I would recommend the irons to, I may not necessarily recommend that two iron to, because you may be better off hitting the TaylorMade DHY or even the Sim 2 hybrid. If you are someone who prefers hitting irons over hybrids, then you've got a decision to make, because that's myself, and I had the two versions of the DHY in my bag previously, but the P790, the launch I'm getting off it, it tops at everything I've tried for a hybrid three, five wood. I'm never worried about spraying it 80 yards left or 80 yards right. I always am with metal woods, and that did actually creep in play with those DHYs. So if you are a strong iron player and you wanna get a club that you're happy and trying to get that fairway finder, I'm thinking the P792 iron is the one for you. It's already out at retail and the price of it is, which hand? This hand here, as you can see, Decent price, if you're comparing that to like a three wood or a five wood, it's a very good price, and you're gonna have that for a long time. I don't think there's gonna be a single club that's gonna replace that two iron in my bag for a very long time. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like down below, and if you guys are new to the Golf Money YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button too to keep up to date with all of our videos. From reviews, challenges, comparisons, you name it, we've got it to keep you guys entertained for the rest of 2021. I will see you guys at the next video.